Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss yet another application of uh, PLC in industry and the application is about sheet feeding machine using PLC and pneumatics. So let us start with the process sequence so that we can understand the operation of sequence. So what are the sensors involved and what are the solenoids and actuators involved in the particular sequence. So let us first see the operation using this small video clip. If you clearly watch what happens actually, we have three cylinders. One is the lifting cylinder which lifts the stamping cylinder as well as the setup to stop the object at that place. So this is one cylinder. The second cylinder is pushing cylinder which push the object from this stack to this the preliminary object and the third one is stamping cylinder so these three cylinders is going to work in a particular sequence so that the stamping process taking place at this particular point and there is one conveyor which is keep running when the system is on so these are the things which is involved so first what happens actually when the object reaches to this position so this lifting cylinder lifts the total setup so that the object keeps coming inside and it reaches to this particular point when it is reached to this particular point the second sensor is going to stop or it is going to push the lifting cylinder down so that it comes and stop the further movement of the object and it holds there so once this process is done then the pushing cylinder pushes the object which has to be stamped on this first object so once this pushing is done the first the uh, object which is coming from here is settled down here so once this is done then the stamping cylinder go down and give a gentle press so that it is being fixed on the the preliminary object so once this operation is done then the pushing cylinder and the stamping cylinder retracts back once it is uh, retracted back and then the lifting cylinder again move up that is releasing the object from here move up and then once the object moves away then it comes back to the home position or the first final position so this is the one sequence of operation for this particular activity so for doing this we must have some solenoids and sensors and the conveyor control so for that we have uh, solenoids here two solenoids for controlling this lifting cylinder two solenoids for controlling this stamping cylinder two solenoids for controlling this pushing cylinder and one relay relay or contactor for controlling the motor here so these are the things which we are going to use in this particular project so we have uh, sensors object sensing sensors we named is ls1 and ls gate which is addressed as x0 and x12 in the input module of a PLC and PLC module and we have LS2, LS3 which is addressed as X1 and X2 so which is placed in the lifting cylinder home position and extended position respectively and similarly LS4 and LS5 is addressed as X3 and X4 which is placed in the pushing cylinder home and extended position respectively LS6, LS5 is uh, addressed as X6 and X5 pressing cylinder home and extended position respectively for turn on and turn off we are having a switch x0 x10 and x level for on off control and solenoids solenoid 1 and 2 controlling the lifting cylinder solenoid 3 and 4 to control the pushing cylinder solenoid 5 and 6 to control the pressing cylinder and we have a relay to control the conveyor motor So this is the operation sequence as I told you earlier. So first when we switch on the conveyor is getting on then the object sensing sensor LS1 is sensing the object then when this condition happens when also it ensures that LS2, LS4, LS6 that is all these three are limit sensors which is placed in 
three different cylinders when all the cylinders in ohm position and the object is sensed then the lifting cylinder is lifting up allowing the object to come inside then the object sensor 2 is sensing at the object is coming inside and once it is nearing the uh, stamping point so that is the sensor which is placed there is ls8 so once this ls8 is uh, sensed the object and ls3 is the extended portion of the lifting cylinder when these two condition happens and ls4 and ls6 is our two other cylinders home position when these two all condition satisfied then the lifting cylinder comes down so that it will hold the object in the particular point then after holding the point then the lifting cylinder returned so that means ls8 that is in the object is sensed at the second position ls2 that is uh, the lifting cylinder returned back to home position and ls4 and ls6 is the home position of two different cylinders all these condition happens then the pushing cylinder push forward so that is it is pushing the label or the object which has to be stamped on that particular uh, or first first object so once the pushing cylinder moved full, fully forwarded then that means the object it is the first cylinder that is uh, lifting cylinder home position and ls5 is the pushing cylinder extended position and ls6 is the a uh, stamping cylinder home position so all this condition is um, confirmed then it is uh, releasing the press, uh, pressing cylinder forward that is stamping cylinder coming down and doing the stamping process once this stamping process is done that means the pushing cylinder and pressing cylinder will go back once this is done after 2 uh, seconds or 3 seconds of delay the lifting cylinder goes up and then it comes back so this is the overall sequence so this is the program or the ladder logic which is uh, written for this particular sequence so what i did first uh, i put one stop switch and the start switch here the start switch is going to help us to start the process i put one memory bit here so this memory bit is used in all the runs so once the process is started the m0 is going to make the conveyor on so the conveyor is keep on and uh, you know the motor conveyor motor is going to be in on condition until otherwise the process is stopped so meanwhile once the conveyor is on if the object is placed on the conveyor the conveyor is bringing the object object to the first sensor that is the first sensor to sense the object so once this sensor is sensing the object and all three cylinders are in home position so this condition makes the cylinder forward that is lifting cylinder forward that it will go up go up and once it is gone up and it allows the object to move to the second position so where another sensor is placed to sense the object x12 and this uh, object is sensed at this point then what happens the lifting cylinder in extended position so it has to come back and hold the object so this all condition when it is satisfied then the lifting cylinder will come down and it will hold the object in the position then we have uh, once the object is positioned in that part point then we have to push the object which has to be stamped on the first object so for that we have to activate the pushing cylinder forward for that we are making the lifting cylinder home position home pushing cylinder and pressing cylinder all is in home position and this object is in uh, you know object is directed in this uh, stamping point so all these conditions satisfied then the pushing cylinder forward the object to be stamped once this is done then the stamping cylinder has to come down so for that lifting cylinder is in home position pushing cylinder is in extended condition that means the object is pushed on the second uh, first object and the pressing cylinder is in home position all these conditions satisfied then pressing cylinder comes down and press the object which is to be stamped once this is done then it has to go back so once the pressing cylinder is extended that is pressing cylinder is extended then all this condition is satisfied then the pushing cylinder will go back and pressing cylinder will go back and same time the timer is getting activated when the timer is getting activated after 2 seconds what happens it enables the another memory bit m1 so this m1 is getting a uh, latched here and why this is being latched here you can see uh, we have used this m1 once it is stamped then it has to the cylinder has to again 
move up so that the conveyor take away the stamped object and once the stamping object has gone then it again it has to come back and stay back in the home position for that only we are used this second uh, parallel line in these two runs for enabling that we are en ensuring that the process is done after completing the process only you will see this m1 is getting enabled so this M m1 memory bit is enabled then the lifting cylinder is in home position pushing cylinder is in home position all these conditions are home position so what happens the lifting cylinder will go up so the lifting cylinder goes up then what what happens the move object is getting moved away from the stamping point once it is moved away then here the lifting cylinder once it is moved away then uh, we have to see this uh, lifting cylinder when it is uh, move forward so automatically this condition fails lifting cylinder home position will fail so the signal will stop here and it will go uh, fully extended that are fully lifted because of this is a memory walls which is being used and once it is lifted up then it will uh, leads to come down once it is m1 is enabled here the lifting cylinder extended position that is it is gone to the fully uh, extended condition this uh, particular switch will enable the m1 is already enabled so these two conditions will satisfy this loop and then it will lifting cylinder retraction y2 so when the y2 is enabled then it will open the uh, contact here so that the memory bit will reset or it will go back to the normal condition so this full uh, as a, as a, in operation is meant for one stamping operation so this process continues until the object keep coming on the conveyor or you switch off the total process so this is the process sequence and this is the explanation for the ladder logic and let us see now the simulation part so this is the delta plc software so i am going to start the simulation download the program run the plc and keep the program in monitoring mode so let me start before uh, starting this uh, operation let me keep the cylinders all the cylinders in home position because this is our assumption all cylinders are in home position and now i am going to keep the machine on so the conveyor is getting on so the conveyor is keep bringing the object to the position where the object sensor 1 is placed so let us assume that object is being sensed here so once the object is being sensed the lifting cylinder that is it has to give a give the way so that the object comes to the stamping point so the lifting cylinder moves up once it is moved up to the fully extended condition then when it is reached to the fully extended condition here this lifting cylinder the lifting cylinder fully extended condition once it is reached to the fully extended condition and the uh, object also by this time the object also reached to the stamping point once these two conditions are satisfied then the lifting cylinder comes down comes down so when it is coming down the lifting cylinder extended position this sensor will go off and now the lifting cylinder comes down and keep it hold position this y1 and y2 needs only a pulse it doesn't need a continuous signal because this is a memory wall which we are using in the pneumatic part so once it is coming down and locked the lifting cylinder is reached to the home position at this state the pushing cylinder makes the forward motion so that the stamp the object which has to be stamped is coming to the first cylinder so when it is reaching to when it is reaching to the pushing cylinder home position get off and the pushing cylinder extended condition get on so this makes the pressing cylinder to move forward so now the pressing cylinder is coming forward to press the object once this is done so that is pressing cylinder fully extended condition so pressing cylinder home position goes off and pressing cylinder extended position comes on so what happens y4 and y5 so this is pushing cylinder return 
written and pressing cylinder written both cylinders are ret getting written and the timer is run for it i have given only 2 seconds so it is already run and the signal is given back to this one and since the pushing cylinder is written and uh, the pressing cylinder is written so the extended condition position will be off for both and off so that it comes back to the home positions since it is written so that it will come back to the home position so that is lifting cylinder is in home position pushing cylinder is in home position pressing cylinder is also in home position so this is how uh, the total process takes place again and again and it continuously runs the process so this is the way uh, i have written the logic for this particular uh, problem so this can be of different uh, ways uh, like uh, you can have your own logic of uh, writing the program here and there the few things may change but the overall process looks like this uh, if you feel this way is little complicated you can just uh, step by step you can write your own code and you can check the process uh, i hope you understand the concept of uh, writing the logical sequence between this one action to the another action if you have any doubt please let me know in the chat box thank you thank you so much for watching this video